G'day guys, my biggest Kev, welcome to my channel. I've got some mail guys, I've received some mail from Andrew, Andrew in New South Wales, Australia, yeah, so he's kindly sent me a box of black sand I believe, um, with gold in it, some concentrates that he's been saving up and he's kindly sent them to me so I can pan them and get a little bit of gold out of it that he's missed, yeah. Okay, I'll just set this up so you can see and I'll open the box up. Yeah, we'll have a look together. Thank you very much, Andrew. As always, mate, I appreciate it. Appreciate you guys sending me stuff. I hope I'm opening this box up the right way. Here we are. I opened it up the wrong way, Andrew. Oh, that's a beautiful piece of stone. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Betroidal. Look at that, guys. Betroidal, um, yeah, something or rather. I can't remember the name of it. But uh, that would be, that would make a nice, I can make a couple of nice pendants out of that. Beautiful stone. Whoop. Okay, so I've got the, I've got the big bag of sand there, the black sand. A beautiful stone. He sent me a letter. Dear biggest Kev, this is our leftover concentrates. We found a lot of gold, so we probably lost some as well. Looking forward to seeing how you recover the gold. Willow, that's Andrew's daughter, said, I wonder what Uncle Biggest Kev, uh, oh, that's hit my heart. Thank you, Willow. Willow said, I wonder what Uncle Biggest Kev can make from this rock. All the best, Andrew, Xavier and Willow. That's gold. Cheers, guys. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, that's really nice. Okay, leave it with me, Willow. I'll make something out of this. I've got some other um, things I've made for you as well. But uh, I'll make something out of this for you, and I'll send it back to you. Yeah, okay, guys. So what I'll do is I'll set up my panning station, and we'll pan out this black sand, and I'll see how many ounces of gold I can get out of it. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, pan number one of Andrew's material. River sand. Oh yeah, I can see all the black sand at the back of the pan, guys. So, just get rid of all this blonde sand. The gold's going to be in the black sand. The black sand being the heavy sand. Let's see how many. We might get a. We might get a couple of grams out of this stuff. I've seen um, Andrew's videos where Andrew and Andrew and his two two kids, they go out prospecting in the local river and uh, they do all right, they get some nice gold. Got a bit of 
gravel in there. Okay. We might have a look. Right, now the hard part. The hard part being panning the black sand back. I can see gold coming back. There's a piece of gold right there. Can you see it? Piece of gold right there, guys. What I might have to do, I'll just continue to pan back because I'm gonna I'm gonna repan it anyway. I can see gold, there's gold here. And I'll just pan it back just to show you because I'm going to have to redo it anyway and, um, and collect all the gold. What I'll end up doing, I'll end up using my snuffer bottle and I'll snuffer up all the fine gold, um, black sand and all, and I'll do a smelt and I'll smelt it and I'll get the gold that way. I can see all the fine gold in this material now at the top of the pan. I see it, just see if I can get enough there. Oh, yeah, it's starting to float back now. I'll just try and pan it back enough so you can see the gold. I hope you can see it. There's all fine gold up the back of the pan here, guys. I hope you can see it in that. I hope the camera can show it up. Yeah. Anyway, I'll carry on. I'll do another pan. I'll be back. Okay. Pan number two. Yeah, and uh, as you saw in that first pan, there was um, nice pieces of gold in there. So it's all in the black sand. So I'm, what I'm doing, I'm keeping all the black sand. So I'll just pan out all the blondes. I'll keep the black sand. Um, what gold that I have cleaned up, I'll put in the snuffer bottle. So at the end, once I've panned it all out, I'll show you, I'll empty the snuffer bottle out in the pan and show you the gold. But that won't be all the gold. There's still a lot of gold trapped up in the black sand, which, um, which I will smelt at a later date and uh, recover the gold that way. Yeah, this is, this is my forte. I, I love doing this sort of stuff. Maybe there might be a big nugget in here that Andrew's missed. Okay. Let's see what we got. And another thing I'll do too, guys, um, what I'll do is I probably should have done it before I started panning, but I'll classify. I'll classify all these rocks, all these bigger, these gravels. I'll put it for a classifier. I can see gold. There's a piece of gold there in front of my finger, guys. You can probably see that. Yeah. What? What is that? Oh, it's just a, a white stone. It looked metallic. Yeah, there's a piece of gold there that's going to come back. That's okay, I'll, um, I'll repan it again. There's all gold here, I can see all fine gold coming back as I wash it back. That's alright, I'll redo it and I'll snuffer up all that gold. And like I said, all this black sand, I'm keeping it all. And I'll smelt it. And uh, I'll get the gold. There's gold everywhere here coming back. Nice flake sitting there on the pan. See that piece there? In front of the shadow. Yeah, nice little flake. I 
hope you can see that. It's all fine gold, guys, all in the back of the pan there. But, um, yeah, that's the way we're going anyway. And there it is at the end. I'll be back. Okay, this is pan number four. I'll just, um, I'll skip the, the odd pan just so you don't get bored. But, uh, yeah, I'm finding fine gold in, in each pan in the black sand. Thank you very much, Andrew. Appreciate it, mate. Yeah, nice. Any gold is good gold, buddy. Nice little flakes of New South Wales gold. I wish I could find a lot of black sand like this in the Hit and Miss Creek. I might be able to get a bit more gold out of that place. Okay, let's have a look. I think I can see some little specks of gold on the, sitting on the black sand. I'll definitely be smelting this black sand because um, there's a lot of fine gold in it. It's too fine to pan. There's a piece of gold right there. Right there guys, in front of my finger. Yeah. It's just, um, it's coming back as I pan it. Nice fine gold, clean gold too from the rivers, rivers and the creeks, the gold is always nice and clean. I'll show you this fine gold under the microscope too guys, I'll, um, when I collect as much as I can out of it, out of the sand, I'll, uh, I'll run the microscope over it and I'll just show you the gold. It'll be flat, small flat gold. That's why it moves around so easily in the pan with the black sand. Well, there's the gold up the back of the pan there. I hope you can see it in this camera. All up in there, yeah. Okay, guys, I'll get back to you with another pan. Okay, pan number six, guys. Yeah, gold in every pan. And um, what I'm, I'm picking up in the snuffer bottle, uh, that's only a little bit of it. There's still a lot more in the, in the black sand. So, as I said, I will smelt that, smelt all the black sand, and try and recover as much of the fine gold as I can. But I'll do that on another video. I'll... Um, when I'll get around to smelting the black sand, I'll do another video up just to show you what I do. And if it works, if I can recover the gold while smelting. Okay. Want to see some gold, guys? Have a look here. It's a piece right there. 
front of my finger. I can see it all floating back. There's a lot of fine gold in the back of the pan. Get it all up there. A nice, nice little flake there, sitting up there. Nice and pretty. There he is. Yeah, it's all the little fine bits of gold up there, guys. I'm sure you can see that piece. That's in the shade. Okay, I'll get back to you with another pan. Okay. Lucky pan number seven. Let's see if we can get a big piece out of this one. It's lucky. Yeah, this is all all good fun. I I can't find much gold over here where I am, so I rely on people like Andrew and uh, and you guys out there that send me stuff. Maybe one day I'll hit it big out in the hills. And I can repay you, so I'll send you some of my material. Wouldn't that be good? Lucky pan number seven. There's a nice flake of gold there. A couple of pieces just come back. Get these big rocks out of there. Yeah, it's plenty. I can see all the gold, the small bits of gold coming back with the black sand. So, um, plenty of gold there for when I smelt, I smelt this material. I'm hoping to, um, to collect it all. Look at it all there, all that fine gold. There's a nice piece. See guys, see up the back here, all that gold? Yeah. I might um, snuff her all that up while I, while I can before it all floats back. Yeah. I'll get back to this with the next pan, guys. Okay, pan number nine. Yeah, there's quite a bit of uh, material in that bag. Thank you very much, Andrew. Quite a bit of material. Yeah, that's great. Stuff it up quite a bit, quite a bit of fine gold already. I might be able to make a little smile out of it in the pan. I've got a smile on my face. Okay, let's have a look, let's see what we've got in this pan. Maybe a big chunkster. A big chunk. 
Okie dokie. Get all these bits of gravel to come back. I can see a piece of gold right there. That's all right, guys. I um, I'll pan this again, and then what I don't get stays in the black sand. Uh, sorry, stays in the black sand. There's a piece of steel. A little bit of wire. I think it is. Yeah, there's some little bits of gold out here to the right. But as I said, all this black sand, I'll um, I'll smelt it all another time. There's plenty of fine gold. And there's fine gold in this black sand that you can't even see. With the naked eye. Look at that, all that little, all that fine gold sitting up there in the pan. I hope you can see it all, guys. Those little fine specks of gold up there. I'll crack that up, snuff for it, and then I'll be back with another pan. Okay, pan number 12, and I've probably got enough le left in the box for another pan. What's left in the bag, I'll just chuck it all in the, in the pan and pan the whole lot. Okay. So pan number 12. And we're getting gold in every pan. How good's that? I pan it fairly quick, it's no drama. It's, um, I can repan all this material. It's not like I'm losing anything. Rightio guys. We're getting closer to the bottom of the of the box, so might be some big pieces. Usually all the big stuff goes to the bottom, doesn't it? See if we can get some big chunkers. I'm seeing small pieces of gold float back all the time when I'm panning. See all the gold up there, guys? Right up the top of the pan there. There it all is. Okay, I'll snuff that up and then I'll do the final pan. Okay. Lucky last pan. Uh, what's this one? Pan 13, I think it is. Lucky last. I put everything that was uh, left over in the box, I put it all in there. So, if there's any super big pieces, it's going to be in here. Okay. Let's have a look.
Okay, there we are. Down to the black sand, guys. Okay. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get, guys. Last pan. Look at all that black sand. Masses and masses of black sand. Look at that big flake. You see him? Big flake of gold just there, guys. Another piece back here and a few other little bits coming back. That's all right. I'll let it drift back. I just want to get to the bottom and see if I can catch some. I can always repan all this. Snuff up the gold. I'll just do a quick pan just to show you guys the gold. There's some more pieces. floating back everywhere. I'll leave it at that guys and I'll stuff it up and I'll get um, I'll see you at the wrap up okay I'll be back okay before we go to the wrap up i would better show you the gold this is this is all the material that I've snuffed and as I said there's still more gold in that black sand that I've kept and uh that will be smelted. Rightio, let's see what we've got here. There's quite a bit of gold in here, guys. Quite a bit. I'll just tidy it up a bit. I'll just see if I can bring back some of this black sand it's, it's pretty hard because the, the gold tends to float back with the sand you get a general idea though There you go. There's your smile. There's your smile, guys. Oop. There's your smile. Oh, got to be half an ounce there. Beautiful. I'll see you at the wrap up. Well, wow. wasn't that super? Um, a box full of black sand or river sand with the black sand in it, which can contain some gold. That's, that's really sweet and um, thank you very much Andrew, Willow and Xavier, I appreciate it, you guys and um, and the, Andrew and, and Willow and, and Xavier, they all have their own they have a channel have their, their own their very own channel, so that's it guys, I'll just bring it up closer the channel's called That's Gold. So you can look them up. Oh, this is some of the gold that I've got. The camera's not going to do it justice and there's a lot of black sand in there. I'll, I'll take a photo of it guys in the pan. And um, here's that. There's that piece of stone that, that um, Willow sent me. And uh, Willow, I'm going to make a, maybe a heart shape uh, pendant or something out of this and I'll, I'll send it back to you. Yeah, I'll make something out of it for you. That's a beautiful stone. And um, I've also made some, I've made it, I'll just bring this out here in the sunlight. I've made a couple of things up for you. I've made this up. This is um, Chrysocola stone. And I've made that pendant up. That's for you, Willow. And also this stone. And this is a granite. It's a granite. It's got olivine, the green, and it's olivine. 
and that pink stone. Um, oh, the name escapes me. I can't remember what it's called. But uh, these are going to you, Willow. Yeah, both these pendants. This stone here, this is for you, Zave. It's um, it's an iron stone. Oh, it's an iron stone. What they call um, oh, uh, not tiger. Oh, tiger iron. Sorry, tiger iron. This pendant, and that's for you, Xavier. Hope you can see that properly. I'll take some photos anyway, and show you. Yeah, and I've got one other pendant here. It's another a little pendant. Uh, this one's for Mum. So there you go. And this stone is it's just a quartz, a mineralized quartz that I cut and polished up, and it comes up really nice. It's got the orange, orangey brown with the black. Yeah. But I'll take photos of these anyway, guys. Um I think that's it. I think that's all I was going to say. Um, yeah, just uh, you guys out there, if you don't know Andrew and Willow and Xavier, they uh, they live in New South Wales, in Australia, and they go out and do a lot of um, sluicing and panning in uh, in a river near where they live. Yeah, so check them out. Get on their channel. Uh, I think that's all. Thanks again um, to Andrew, Willow and Xavier. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. Cheers. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. I usually do. Um, yeah, but those pendants, I'm going out to you, you guys. And also, like I said, Willow, I'll, I'll make something out of that beautiful Betroid or stone that you sent me. And um, I might I might throw in a couple of polished rocks or something. Yeah. Okay. Stay safe out there, guys. Be good. Thank you for supporting my channel and watching my videos. Appreciate you all. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.